Is CVS All Access worth it? The short answer is no. Stick around and I'll tell you why. Hi, I'm Isaac and this is Mew University. On this channel, I do educational videos like this one in addition to reviews. So if you like what you see today, consider subscribing. Right now, you're watching this to see if getting CVS All Access is worth it. You're probably like me and already have Netflix in addition to Amazon Prime. You're more than likely watching this video because you're interested in Star Trek Discovery. I did the trial run of CBS All Access to watch Discovery and mill it around a little bit afterward. I'm here to give you my four takeaways of CBS All Access. Number one, video quality. Although CBS's All Access has been around since 2014, the company has done next to nothing to bring the streaming platform into the 21st century. Netflix, Amazon, and Vudu all stream content in 4K with HDR10 and in some cases, Dolby Vision. In case you want to know what the difference between HDR and Dolby Vision is, there's a link in the description below where I explain that. All Access came out in 2014. Discovery was released in 2017. It's now 2018 with season two to be released in 2019 and we're still not getting 4K content. The best I was seeing Discovery in was 1080p. I've seen some comments online where people were only able to stream in 720p. Now granted, those comments are about a year old now. Still, I'd like to reiterate that not streaming modern, recently created content in 4K is unacceptable. 4K TVs have been around for years now, as well as the cameras to record content in that resolution. Other streaming services have been streaming in 4K for a while as well. Discovery was filmed with Area Alexa cameras and graded in Dolby Vision. Why are you only offering Star Trek Discovery in DVD and Blu-ray formats with no 4K streaming? So what's the deal, CBS? Number two, audio quality. If you thought all the video stuff was bad, the audio is even worse. CBS All Access didn't receive surround sound streaming until August 2018, and even then, it was only on select platforms, which didn't include any game consoles. Stereo sound has been around since the 1930s, and technically even before that. We are about to send people to Mars, and you can even get 5.1 surround sound from over the airways free television channels, but you can't get it from a streaming service you're paying for? What is with you, CBS? Now on the flip side, if you have a decent receiver, then you have a chance of the onboard computer being able to make an up mix to 5.1. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Number three, content. Since it's CBS All Access, you of course are going to get a plethora of nothing but CBS content. Again, if you're watching this video, it's probably because of Star Trek. Well, lo and behold, CBS doesn't give us the remastered versions of next gen. They look like the same quality as the ones that aired in the 1980s. All Access says the ones of the original series are of the remastered episodes, but I believe that to be a partial lie because the quality of some of those episodes is really bad. The planets still look blurry and the space scenes don't look CGI enough to me from the Blu-ray releases I've seen the 60s Trek. However, the production quality for the original content for All Access does seem very high. While I'm not a massive fan of Star Trek Discovery, there is no denying that great care was taken to create their costumes, set pieces, computer graphics, camera work, and of course the music. My grievance with the show is that in my opinion, it is not faithful to the original Star Trek, or any of the Star Treks to begin with. Too much advanced technology to be in Kirk's era. It would have been better just to say that this show takes place five years after Picard and the events of Star Trek Nemesis. I do understand the need to progress the series forward and bring in newer and younger audiences. Number four, the interface. This is one area I'll give CBS credit for. I think the interface on my desktop and on the Xbox One X is actually pretty good. I feel Vudu can look overwhelming and Amazon's is clunky and difficult to use. Netflix is king in regard to ease of use of graphic interfaces when it comes to all the streaming services. All access seems to keep things looking simple. My two biggest gripes are that the interface would freeze on my Xbox, forcing you to either wait it out or restart the app. A common problem I found when researching the issue on forums. The other being that when you fast forward or rewind, you can't tell which scenes you're at. You might as well be fast forwarding or rewinding on VHS tape because you're in the blind the whole time. CBS All Access has a long way to go before it should be taken as a serious competitor to Netflix or Prime. If you're only wanting it for Star Trek or another show, I suggest you plan a free weekend, get the trial, and cancel as soon as possible, 
and then start a new trial under a different email address once the new season starts. Let me know what you think of CBS All Access and Star Trek Discovery in the comment section below. Hidden. If you like what you saw today, consider subscribing on your way out. I'm Isaac, and this is Movie University.